Yeah, good afternoon YouTube. The city is actually in the process of upgrading all our street lights to LEDs and they just did the one out in front of my house this morning. Just two guys in a bucket truck. It probably took them, if it took them 10 minutes, that's probably pretty generous. They were in and out of here. Just unscrewed the old one, threw the new one in and took off. We'll see what it looks like when the sun goes down today. Just checking out the uh, new LED street light here and also trying out the low light mode on the camera. It seems to throw out a pretty good uh, pattern of light there. You can see down there the street's pretty well lit up. And I'll see if I can zoom in here. There's a one of the old street lights. You can see the yellow. It's the old. A high pressure sodium light down there, really yellow. Yeah, it looks like a pretty decent light. Well, I'll try to get some specs on the light and put a link in the video description. So, just thought I'd uh, show you what one of those new LED street lights look like. Uh, you can definitely see the you got the new color here, and then down here, you can see the old pattern of the old street light. So, that's quite a I think that's a lot better. Yeah, so I did a little searching online. Apparently the lights come from a local company. I guess they're part of the Light On group called Leotech. And these look like the Green Cobra series uh, street lights. This is pretty similar. The ones in front of my house has two rows of, I think it was 10 LEDs. Uh, so half of this one. Uh, Hundred over 100 lumens per watt. The Lick Observatory is located nearby here, and, and one of the things they like is the dark sky, and definitely this light doesn't shine any light upwards. It's all down, and there's no real bright spots. And here, this is your high-pressure sodium over on the left, and in the same street with LED lights, you can see the high pressure sodium in the back, and then just a lot, lot more uniform. There's not these hot spots. I can really see that out, out on the street, and you can see that in the video. Probably this green Cobra GC1. They have different numbers of LEDs, and then I found this other document. I'll put a link to all of these in the uh, video description. So this one had a comparison here. Let me zoom it up a bit. So this is the same uh, LED here. The looks like the Green Cobra one. There we go. Couldn't find the specific power, but assuming this is pretty typical, it was probably a 250 watt uh, high pressure sodium lamp. Might have been a little smaller, and I'm guessing these are probably. This might be the two-row LED, and this is the four-row. Probably something in this range, 100 watts. Uh, there'd be like 20 LED elements, so if, if there are like five-watt LEDs, that would be about 100 watts. So that's probably what they're using there. So this is the Leotech Green Cobra 1. If it's 100 lumens per watt and around 100 watts, the light outside my place in the video is probably around 10,000 lumens. They do have the uh, little photo cell on top. It turns on at dark and turns off when the sun comes up. Yeah, so according to the press release, they said the streetlight conversion should save 3 million kilowatt hours per year. They're replacing every 250 watt lamp with about a 100 watt lamp. You know, roughly 50% savings, so they must, must be using, you know, 6 million plus kilowatt hours a year for street lights, and, and they'll cut that in, in half. Not a project I was involved in, but I guess it's right out in front of my house, so that's just kind of interesting. Thought I'd pass it on, and uh, you can check out my channel, subscribe for updates. Uh, there's some other videos. I'll put a link to the channel here. In the video, uh, links to these uh, the manufacturer's website. I'll put that in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching.